Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the Be My Sunshine face pad. To make this face pad, you're going to need approximately 20 yards of any cotton yarn. I am using we crochet dishy yarn, which is a worsted weight 100% cotton yarn in the color honeydew. I'm also using a four millimeter crochet hook. We're gonna make a magic ring. So what we're gonna do is with our index and middle finger held together, we're gonna grip the yarn with our thumb and we're gonna wrap the yarn around our index and middle finger to make a, an X on the bottom and two loops at the top. With our hook, we're gonna insert our hook underneath that first loop and grab that second loop with our hook and pull it underneath that first loop. Twist it towards yourself, pull it off your fingers, and we are gonna secure it with a chain two. Now we're gonna make 12 double crochets into this magic ring. So the way to do that is yarn over, insert your hook into the ring, yarn over, draw up a loop. So we have three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over and pull through the last two loops. So we are gonna do this 12 times. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So before we continue, we're just going to give everything a quick count. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. And now we're going to take our yarn tail and we're gonna pull it tight and this closes up our magic ring. So to finish off the round, we are going to insert our hook into that first double crochet and we're gonna make a slip stitch. So yarn over, pull it through that stitch and through the loop on our hook. For round two, we are going to chain two and we're gonna make one double crochet into that first stitch because our chain two does not count as a stitch. And now into this around, we're gonna be working a front post double crochet around this same first stitch. So we're gonna insert our hook underneath that stitch. We're gonna yarn over, pull it through And we're gonna yarn over and pull through two loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through the last two loops on our hook. So that makes a front post double crochet. Into the next stitch, we're gonna do the same thing. Make one double crochet like normal. And then we're also going to make a front post double crochet around that same stitch. So insert your hook underneath that stitch yarn over, pull it through. So we have three loops on our hook. We're gonna yarn over and pull through the first two loops, yarn over and pull through the last two loops. So we are going to repeat that all the way around. So we should have a total of 12 double crochets and 12 front post double crochets. This is what the end of round two is looking like. At this point, guys, give everything a quick count. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. We've made 12 front post double crochets. So what we're gonna do is insert our hook into that first double crochet of the round, and we're gonna make a slip stitch to close off the round. You guys might notice too that your magic ring kind of comes undone as you were crocheting round two. So just pull on that tail to tighten it up a bit. All right, we're gonna chain two to start round three. 
into that first stitch right here, we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna make one double crochet, like normal, and then we're also gonna make a front post double crochet around that same stitch. So insert your hook underneath the stitch, yarn over, so we have three loops, pull it through. Okay, so what, what you're gonna notice is that now these double crochets that we've that we are were just normal for round two, now they're gonna pop out as well. Into the front post double crochet, we're just going to make one double crochet like normal and we're gonna move on. Into the next regular double crochet, we're gonna make one double crochet and we're gonna front post double crochet around it. Into the front post double crochet, we're gonna make one regular double crochet and move to the next stitch. In the double crochet, we're gonna make one regular double crochet and we are also going to make a front post double crochet around it. So you guys are gonna repeat this all the way around. So we should still have a total of 12 front post double crochets for round three. And we should have a total of 24 double crochets. We are at the last stitch of round three, and this is a front post double crochet. So we're gonna work one regular double crochet into that stitch. And we are going to make, we're gonna insert our hook into the first stitch of the round and make a slip stitch to close round three. All right, for round four, we are going to chain one and into this first stitch, we're gonna make one half double crochet the next stitch is a front post double crochet. So into this stitch, we're gonna make two half double crochets. Into the next two stitches, which happen to be just regular double crochets, we're gonna make one half double crochet in each stitch. Into the front post double crochet, we're gonna make two half double crochets and into each double crochet, we're gonna make one half double crochet. So we are going to repeat this all the way around and we should have a total of 48 half double crochets at the end of round four. Into the last stitch of round four, this is just a regular double crochet, so we're gonna work one half double crochet into it. And we're gonna insert our hook into the first stitch of the round, and we're gonna make a slip stitch to close the round. For round five, this is just going to be a round of slip stitches, so in each stitch around, we are gonna make a slip stitch. So the key to this round is to try to make our slip stitches consistent. So be consistent with our tension and not to crochet them too tightly because if we do, then our work is gonna curl in on itself. And we want our facial pads or dish scrub pads to lie flat. So in every stitch around, we're gonna make a slip stitch. Just a tip guys, if you would like to, you can mark the first stitch of round five with a stitch marker so that you know exactly where the round starts so that you know when to end it. So we've just worked our last slip stitch into the last stitch of round four. So what we're gonna do is turn our work towards ourselves, And as you guys can see, these are the front and back loops of our slip stitch. And back here we have two additional loops and these are the front and back loops of our half double crochets from round four. So we're gonna insert our hook underneath both the front and the back loops. And we're 
we're gonna make a slip stitch and this one can be tight. And now we're gonna fasten off. We're gonna pull it tight to secure that knot. And at this point, guys, make sure to weave in your ends. It's very important. So especially for this magic ring, the magic ring is not secure because it wasn't made with a knot. So it's very important to weave in your tail for your magic ring and secure it with a couple of knots so that your work doesn't unravel and it holds up well over time as you use it and wash it. Grab your yarn needle and thread it with your working tail. And what we're gonna do is it's just grab this working tail and we're just gonna tighten it as best as we can to close that magic ring. And now what I'm gonna do is insert it into one of these back loops or of the stitches. And I'm just going to make a little loop here, insert my needle underneath that loop and pull it tight. And this makes a knot. Pull it as tight as you can. So not only did it make a knot, but it closed off our magic ring. So right now I'm gonna go underneath, I'm gonna weave my end through a few stitches. I'm gonna do this a couple of times. And this is all, keep in mind guys, this is all done on the back side so that we will not be able to see it on the front. All right, so I weaved it through a couple times. So now what I'm going to do to make sure it's extra secure, I'm just gonna find a loop of the stitch or part of the stitch. I'm gonna insert my yarn needle, make a small loop and insert it back into the, that loop to make a knot. Now pull it tight, but not too tight. You don't wanna dis distort your work. Okay, we've made a little knot here. Now we're gonna continue weaving. All right. And at this point, guys, you can cut off your yarn tail and you have effectively weaved in that magic ring and secured it so it should not come undone. If you guys enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel. There is a part one and a part three for this video, so please feel free to check them out. I will link them in the description box below. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.